Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. This past weekend, I got to witness Enduro Cross up close and live for the second year in a row. Round one of the 2018 series kicked off in Prescott Valley, Arizona, and surprisingly in front of what must have been a sold out crowd. Super X. Everybody, we're in Prescott, Arizona for the Enduro Cross round one of the series. Oh, look at that guy's mustache. That was amazing. Did you see that mustache? I hope we got that on film. All right, who do we got here? Uh, Noah Keppel. Oh, everyone. Oh, everyone. You do not have a Joe Rockstar one. She doesn't have a Joe Rockstar one. I'm contractly obligated or something like that to like not sign autographs right now. We do not want to make these guys, you know, they got sensitive egos. You don't want to show them. They definitely don't want you some, want off. they don't want some like <laughs> who could barely ride a dirt bike signed to more autographs than them, right? I mean, that's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 no. This isn't about me. No. <laughs> Are you watching my videos right now? You should be paying attention to what you got to do. <laughs> you should be watching your videos. <laughs> I have like a five tips for beginners. <laughs> they go. I, ca I caught him watching my videos before the race, dude. Yeah. You might want to check him out. <laughs> <laughs> when most people think about dirt bike racing, they think about this. And that's no surprise with television and other media overwhelmingly focused on those types of races. No one could deny that the spectacle and grandeur of high speed, high flying, bar banging supercross races are exciting and fun to watch. Not to mention the riders develop large followings, major sponsorships and big money contracts. Many supercross racers are relatively famous and one recently even donned the cover of the Wheaties brand cereal box. So why aren't enduro races just as popular as a spectator sport in the United States? As spectator-friendly sports go, Enduro has to be pretty low on the list, which is kind of ironic considering that Enduro has a lot of the ingredients that make an exciting event to witness. Things like physical danger, demonstrations of elite bravery and skill, there's tension, drama, victorious celebrations, and agonizing defeats. But the problem with Enduro as a spectator sport might be twofold. The most obvious being that the terrain and distances involved make it nearly impossible to get a good view of the whole race. Usually spectators at enduro events only get to see the riders in a small section of the overall course and once the riders are through it, there could be a long lull until they come back through, if they come back through at all. The second problem is the length of the race itself. One race could take two or more hours and there may be two or more races depending on how many rider classes there are. Well the folks at Enduro Cross found a way to take all of this and squeeze it into this. They took the obstacles and challenges of an outdoor enduro course and brought it into a supercross venue. In doing so, they created a unique challenge for the riders in a package that's appealing to the general public. And if you haven't been to an enduro cross race, here's a glimpse of what you've been missing. Now a track like this one is brutal. These obstacles are extremely difficult individually. 
Hopping over logs, maintaining balance and momentum through rocks half the size of your bike, and managing slick terrain are all physically exhausting, as much as they are difficult skill sets to master. In a normal enduro, obstacles like these might often be spread out, giving the rider some time to physically recover between those tough sections of track. But not here. In enduro cross, there is no respite from the challenges of fatigue. The very second one obstacle is conquered, another obstacle is waiting to sap your strength and confidence. And every now and then, as if things aren't tough enough, Enduro Cross throws a wild card obstacle called the No Joke Lane. Here, riders must at least once face obstacles that are definitely unusual to say the least. Conceived by the most evil course designers, these obstacles challenge even the most skilled and experienced riders in the circuit. I definitely had a oh wow moment when I walked in and saw this thing. Yeah. This is really cool. <laughs> you know, they uh, I really wanted to get the company out in the community, uh, get the name out, and I saw this opportunity being an avid rider myself. I wanted to be part of it, so we went ahead and sponsored, and what I really liked about it was we got to build our own obstacle. At first they said, well, give us six cars, and I said, well, what are you going to do with them? Said, oh, we're going to ride over them. I said, well, that's kind of watered down. That's been done. How about we do an over-under? And they're like, oh, we kind of like that. And then once they saw it, they kind of freaked out a little bit. Well, it turns out that Enduro Cross was going to get its due justice and be on television. Sure, it wasn't live, but BN Sports was going to rebroadcast the race on Thursday night. And even though I was there, I was looking forward to watching it. I even paid the $16 extra that I had to give DirecTV just to get the sports package that contains the channel Be In Sports. Come Thursday night, this is what I got. Needless to say, I need to call up DirecTV and cancel that subscription to their sports package. And if you're a motorsports fan and a DirecTV customer, I encourage you to do the same. And it really is a shame, there's a lot of amateurs that take part in Enduro Cross. And this was their time in the spotlight. And they deserved it. Maybe next year I'll be good enough to join them out there on that course. Until then, be sure to check out all the Enduro Cross action for the rest of the season. And keep on coming back to the Joe Rockstar channel. Like, subscribe, and share these videos. I really appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.